Terry Donnelly and these Kindle channel, don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Gin Mill channel. <sighs> what is going on? It is Monday. It is happy hour. It is March. So it came in like a lamb. It goes out like a lion. I'm not sure. It comes in like a lion, goes out like a lamb. Well, here in South Florida, it came in like a little baby lamb. Yeah. So hopefully it stays like a lamb because it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's everything you want spring break in florida to be a little warmer for me but anyways you guys what are you doing what are you drinking where are you say hi to me drop a comment over there tell me where you're watching from and again thank you for watching you guys and welcome to our youtube and TikTok and instagram people so let's start with a little update let's go back to our crown blackberry okay so you guys we just got this in what two weeks ago and we tried it live here on the show it wasn't really my favorite but that's just me so we've got some input from some viewers so our TikTok, which we have at md's gym Mill channel over on TikTok, so make sure you follow us over there so a couple of followers wrote me and jen lynn from rochester new york said yummy and Tara, one of my girls out at the casino in Mississippi, she said, tastes like that cough syrup they had us choke down when we were kids. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's been a few weeks, and I know most of you have already had a chance to try out the Crown Blackberry. What do you think? Some people are saying the best part of it was the bag it came in, and other people love it. I mean, my one bar sold out. My other bar, they didn't like it. So let me know what you think about the Crown Blackberry now that you've had a chance to try it. Okay. That's it for the Crown. So there's lots of good stuff coming up. Like I said, it is March. And down here, that is just a fantastic time. So Sundays, fun days, whether you're boating, you're beaching, whatever, you need to start with a Bloody Mary, right? Yeah, you do. You need to start with Bloody Mary and look at this awesome, ah, that is a spring vegetable mix marinating in a vodka, hopefully our Victor George vodka right here, ultimate amazing vodka, Victor George, we talked all about it, Kevin, you know I'm not a crown person, but it was good, okay, that's a good input, that's better than what our girl Tara said, she's choking it down out of Mississippi, hey Lila, How's it going, everybody? Thank you for joining us. So, again, look at this awesome picture of these vegetables marinating. You guys, I'm just, I'm jonesing for a Bloody Mary just looking at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Ah, ah, a little tahini around the rim. Yes, fantastic, fantastic. Yes, okay, so over to Ciroc. Our boy P. Diddy, he out. He said, bye-bye, I'm breaking up with you, Diageo, and they are no longer doing business together. So Ciroc is not owned or represented with P. Diddy anymore, but they just came out with this Laminata. So I have this in stock at my bar in Fort Pierce, the gin mill, and it's really good. It's good in a lemon drop. Yes, Ciroc Laminata. It is delicious, but it's no longer Diddy. Sorry, guys. Anyways, that's okay. And hey, Doug, thank you for joining us. What's shaking? What are you guys drinking? It's Monday. It's happy hour. You should be having a cocktail. I have my favorite little uh, rosé all day. And my allergies are killing me, so I have to wet my whistle. Yeah. Okay, truly, you know, the people that make the seltzers, well, they hopped on board and they have a vodka. So, Truly now has a vodka. They've got three flavors so far. We have a strawberry lemonade, a wild berry, and a pineapple mango. And you guys, it's only 60 proof. So that's a big trend 
in 2024 and moving forward are lower alcohol, lower ABVs, people just really don't want to get so schnackered anymore. You know, they want to be able to control themselves and not feel like crap the next day. But I did recently read an article that suggested that if you got the COVID vaccination, then you are more highly prone to get worse hangovers. I don't know if you heard that or you think that. I don't know. So something to talk about. So, okay, let's get to this right now. Drinking water, then going to Zen Yoga. At the Botanical Gardens? I went there yesterday. The Botanical Gardens in Port St. Lucie, Florida are amazing. I'm telling you guys, gorgeous. And if you're going there for the Zen Yoga, I might just join you. But wait, I'm drinking, so not yet. Maybe next week. But it is gorgeous there. And it's free, you guys. If you get a chance, if you're local, make sure you check it out. It's free. And you can buy some really, really discounted plants there, too. So it's a good thing. All right, let's get to this before my stuff melts. Everybody knows that I love dirty martinis. So I'm going to make you guys a dirty martini, and I have a surprise. So dirty martini is so simple. My mom could do it, but she's fine. She can't do it here. Okay, get your shaker, get some ice. I'm making it with... Victor George vodka. That's another thing. Distilled six times, so no hangover. And one of our viewers, Amanda, recently told me that she drank this all night the other night and didn't get a hangover. So there you have it. Okay, there. Get a little olive juice. It just depends on what kind of olives you like, what it is. I like it extra dirty. We call this Brittany dirty. Big debate. Brittany, Christina. Lindsay Lohan. Okay, shake it up like you need. Okay, I didn't put in as much dirty juice as I usually do because I'm going to show you guys something. Amazing, amazing. I know the camera crew is going to love this martini. Okay. Shaking from Cali, baby. What's Alan got to say, you guys? Hey, and hope all's well on the other side of the country. The bogeys and stogies mentioned in that PSL video that's going around is hysterical. You guys, yes. If you haven't seen this video, I can't play it because it's, I can't. But it's, Poppy Daddy? Poppy, you guys help me out. I know you all know what it is. So you got to check him out. He's on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and he, just rants about bogeys and stogies in Port St. Lucie. It's a great puppy daddy, I think. He's got this car. He's going around town. He's got like a boat, like an open bound tri haul on top of like this crazy little baron. It's awesome. Okay, here's what I did, you guys. I took dirty juice, so olive juice from my olives, and I put a few olives on a stir stick and I put it in the ice tray. Okay, so let's see. I haven't tried this yet. We're going to see how this works out. Look at this, how cute this is. Can you see this? It's hard to see. This is all dirty juice with three olives, and I'm gonna drop it in my martini. It's got a toothpick on the end, so it's gonna stay cold. Same old, we're gonna live and enjoy the weather here. Yeah, enjoy the taxes. I hear you. So, back to this martini, you guys. Now I've got my toothpick, three olives, on this, my martini's gonna stay cold because it's getting warm up. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely perfect every time. Ah, uh, woo! So I also did a couple other ones. I did one with a large queen olive on this one. Okay, so it just depends. Queen olive. I did three baby olives here, but what a great idea! Throw it in your freezer. 30 minutes later, you got dirty martini olive ice cubes. If you guys want this back there, come and get it. Okay, so. <laughs> so St. Patrick's Day is coming, and everybody knows they love their Irish whiskey. Look at the twist on this Irish whiskey. Tullamore Dew, honey, baby. That's right, honey. 
Tullamore to Irish Whiskey. Available now, so when you're going out, ask for it. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay. So, what else we got besides my last, my last fantastic thing, you guys? Anything else? No? Okay. So, I recently was on a trek for more inexpensive lemons and limes. I'm telling you, they are so freaking expensive. It's like, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. They're coming in. <laughs> bye bye, Martini. Jesus. So, lemons are, they like a buck a piece for 80 cents. I don't know, Alan, are they that expensive? Because I'm sure they're coming from California. It's ridiculous. So, I went down to Bravo Supermarket. You guys, you know that, like, uh, I think it's Spanish inspired. I'm not really sure. Down the street, I went to this Bravo. And while I was there, I found, crazy as this, Mexican Coca-Cola in the original glass bottles, okay? And what the freak? It was like $8.99 for this little four-pack. And I'm thinking to myself, that's that's just really strange, right? So Alan's saying, all right, what expensive? So you were on and wanted to say hi back to it. Lemons and limes, Alan, are they expensive out in Cali? That's right, you're still working because it's time difference. So, okay, I found this Coke and it reminded me, like, God, back in the early 90s, I went on this trip to Cancun with some of my college girls and we went snorkeling on this barrier reef. And when we got up back up to the boat, they handed us all one of these glass bottles. And I thought, glass out of the ocean, but it was the best freaking Coke I ever tasted in my life, ever. And I love Coca-Cola. Ooh, I don't know, really. That's something I buy. Uh, each is own. Nice to talk to you, Alan. So, back to this Coke. I had to bring it home. I bought it. I brought it home. And I was talking to some people. And they're like, yeah, you need to try that with Captain. It'll blow your mind. So, we're going to do a challenge. Right here, right now. I have not tried this yet. And this should be interesting. Alan, thanks for stopping by. Okay, so putting a little Captain, and unfortunately, I only have the new Madagascar vanilla Captain Morgan, and us Captain drinkers do not like this. We want the old Captain, and if you are like me, you can go on CaptainMorgan.com and sign the petition to bring back the original Captain Morgan. But for now, this is what we have. So. I got the thumbs up from the production staff. Amazing martini, isn't it? And it's Victor George Vodka, and I know that you guys love Grey Goose. It's better than Grey Goose, isn't it? So, doing a nice three count in my small little adorable glasses here. We've got one American Coke, okay? Made with high fructose corn syrup. I'm not even sure what that means except bad for you. And then we have one chilled down Mexican Coke. And I just found out today that it's also Australian Coke. They do the same thing in Australia. Who knew? So Mexican Aussie Coke, American Coke. And this Mexican Coke is made, this is made with natural cane sugar. This is high fructose corn syrup. All right, I'm gonna try it first. American, because I'm American. All right, Let's see if there's any sort of difference. Okay, let's just see. Ooh, a little strong. Oh yeah. Mm. Tastes okay, but it's so vanilla, that Madagascar vanilla, it's so vanilla. Mexican Captain and Coke. only difference I taste is sweeter, not as sweet. Let's just try it regularly. Oh, that's good. That's good. Holy cow, that's good. Oh, shoot. Now that I tasted that, I can't go back to coach. 
Oh my God. This Coke is so freaking good. Holy cow. It almost tastes like Dr. Pepper. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. And you know, it reminds me of McDonald's a little bit. And since I do have an inside scoop of McDonald's, I was talking to my girl over at Mickey D's. She explained to me that their, you know, normal restaurants, Coke comes in a plastic bag. Like at my restaurants, it comes in a plastic bag inside a cardboard housing. You mix it with carbonation and water that makes your Coke or Pepsi. At McDonald's, the Coke is delivered, you guys, Get this, it's delivered in a stainless steel tank into McDonald's and then it mixes with their water. And I know their Sprite, they mix their Sprite with cold water. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know about the Coke, but this tastes just like, this is amazing. I'm telling you. Mm. Okay. Mexican Coke wins. Yep. How do you say Mexican Coke? Mexican Coke, right? I don't know. Anyways, there you have it. So if you really want the most amazing Captain Coke of your life, go over to your Bravo supermarket or anywhere that has um, Spanish stuff. That's why everyone loves their soda. Yeah, that's why. I'm telling you. Amazing. So you guys, that's all everything for today. Justin, what's up? Thank you for joining us. You love Captain and Coke. I'm telling you. You We'll die for this, Justin. Meow. Awesome. So, you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And like I said, if your march came in like a lion, hopefully it goes out like a lamb. Hopefully ours stays a lamb. And thank you to our sponsors, of course, Exchange of America, Inkhead Graphics, KG Pro Renovations, The Booze Bandage, the Gin Mill for Pierce, and of course, Bogies and Stogies in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. You guys, thank you for joining in, and cheers. <laughs>